So, hello, I promised you a review of the Champions League games this week. We do it night by night. First of all, Liverpool, 2-0 up from the first leg. Um, an easy victory in the end. And people like Jason Cundey on TalkSport and various other pundits were calling Villarreal a disgrace. That was his words, a disgrace. Now... I think a bit harsh. They only lost 2-0. How many teams have got pammed 4, 5, 6 by Liverpool maybe? You know, they've absolutely smashed Europe's elite this season. And smashed the Premier League apart. With Manchester City, of course. Still yet to be decided what a final could be in store. I'm going to talk about Jurgen Klopp. Signed, just signed the new deal. The biggest signing Liverpool could have made. Forget any player. Forget Salah or anyone. Klopp is the most important man at Liverpool at the moment. Along with his director of football, who is, I think, the best in the league. FSG are, and Klopp, and their, Klopp's blueprint is what I want Arsenal to aspire to. And you've got to remember the team Klopp inherited. And I remember, I went back recently and watched, um, I watched uh, his, when he arrived, I watched uh, his interview and he said he'd win the league within four years. That fourth year was the Centurions year. They missed out by a point. Following year was the COVID year, but they won the league. They won the league for something over in 30 years. I remember when Liverpool last won the league. Alan Hansen was their captain, old big jockey. Now retired pundit from the BBC. You probably younger viewers might not remember him, but a legendary centre back, Scottish. But for me, Liverpool are the blueprint because Arsenal financially are more on a level pegging with Liverpool than Manchester City. Yeah, they just are. And um, they've gone about writing things the right way. People can say, well, we are doing things differently because we've employed a manager with no experience in any, any leagues apart from being Pep's assistant at City, which has held him in great stead. And for me... Very interesting. James Olcott uh, got an interview with Jim, Jim Balaguer. Jim Balaguer. You must know who Jim Balaguer is. A well, the most well-known uh, pundit in England who's Spanish from La Liga. And I used to watch La Liga show all the time in the Ronaldinho Zidane days. The, you know, the Galactico days. And Jim Balaguer is... Knows what he's talking about. And I'll tell you what, it shocked me. He rates our tower and he says our tower is it's my way of the highway and he will be a success at Arsenal. And it was reassuring to hear him talk so highly of him. It's the first Spaniard, apart from Pep, that I've heard rate um, Mikel Artao. Um, of course, I'm going off beat here. And the game tonight, now the pitcher is Allison. Now, if you've never seen Liverpool late play live, if you've never seen Allison Becker, their goalkeeper, in the flesh, you, the television's very deceiving. Because I've seen him for the first time in my life at the Emirates this season, and he is a beast. And he's brilliant at playing out from the back. Remember that assist for Salah against Norwich? Just he, he Edison probably pips him for footwork, but as a goalkeeper in general, Becker is the best in the league. Allison is for me, he's actually head and shoulders above everyone. He really he really is a fantastic goalkeeper. And that's where it starts, the spine. Then you've got Van Dijk. Then you've got, say, Fabinho, Thiago in that midfield. Then you've got Salah, Mane, Jota, Diaz, 
etc. The Liverpool have the spine on there and they have all the players around it as well. I suppose you could put Henderson in there. He's done a good job for years, but for me, Thiago has been the main man recently, along with Fabinho, who goes under the radar, but do not underestimate how good Fabinho is. For me tonight, the first goal was vital. If Villarreal get it, game on. But do you really see, even if Villarreal go 1-0 up, do you really see them beating Liverpool by three clear goals? I can't see it. Um, I, just, I just can't see it. Um, Liverpool's actual only defeat in, that I can remember this year is in the Champions League into Milan La Torre Martinez but a tie pretty much wrapped up at San Siro 2-0 and La Torre Martinez with an unstoppable shot at Anfield to win the game and you know they were unlucky because San Alexis Sanchez then got himself sent off and it might have been a different story when he got sent off because Inter were the better team that night that's the worst I've seen Liverpool play all season to be honest to be fair um, in the Champions League that is um, I think it'd be cruise control for Liverpool tonight I'm going to go for a draw though I'm going to go for a one-all draw or a two-all draw. I think it'll be a score draw. I think Villarreal will chuck. It'd be a, they won't be a disgrace tonight. They will chuck the kitchen sink. Uh, Van Dijk, Becker, the lot. I'm going to talk about Becker. I'm talking about Alisson, of course. Yeah. But Alisson, you will see tonight what a classy goalkeeper is. He will, if Liverpool are in trouble, he will also get them out of trouble. If Van Dijk can't. And whoever's next to him, Canate or Matip or whoever. Andy Robinson, we forget about how good he is. I've seen him in the flesh as well, Trent. Well, actually, Trent got roasted by Martinelli. <laughs> but Andy Robinson was on fire. Um, Liverpool are just on a roll. They haven't particularly been playing well, a bit like Arsenal, and, but they've been getting results, and we are in a results business. That's something some people don't seem to understand. You've got to play a 10 out of 10 every game, which is absolute rubbish. It's all about the result at this stage of the season. Performances are more at the start of season, mid-season, Especially if your team haven't been playing great, you want to see them put in a shift. But tell me a Liverpool player who does not put a shift in, and if they don't, they get hauled off, and they probably won't play for a month or a couple of weeks because there's plenty of places players to come in and take their place. It's all about building that squad, and that's why it's so pivotal for Arsenal to get in the Champions League. Lee Gunner thinks it's a myth. That if you get in the Champions League, oh, you can attract big names and all this. Well, yeah, you can. Especially if you've got the money. And I think the Cronkies will see us a year ahead of their plans, Edu's plans, maybe even Mikel Arteta's plans. I certainly didn't expect us to be in this position. Um, now we're in this position, I will be very, very upset if we throw it away. But then words will never come out of my mouth again, unless we do. Um, I don't think we will. I think we'll get the wins we need to get. Um, I just hope Liverpool aren't put through the mill too much tonight because we want them fresh for Tottenham, don't we? So, yeah, whatever it takes. I think, I think Liverpool will come out of it with a score draw. Be a toughish game. I think, you know, you're allowed five subs, so Liverpool will rotate during the match. And that possibly could tip the balance for them, put even winning the match. I mean, Manchester United even won at Villarreal this season, Ronaldo. And so it wouldn't surprise me if Liverpool won the match quite easily. But I see Villarreal 
pride her. But Liverpool, people forget how tough it is to go to Liverpool. It's very difficult. Yeah. Calling it, uh, Jason Cundey's an idiot. Calling it a disgraceful performance. He's trying to, what they were doing is trying to damage limitations. 2-0, they're, 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 te- they're still in the tie. Because it's only 2-0. What well, they get an early goal? Then they get a second. Suddenly they're level. Game on. Yeah, it's going to take mis- a mistake or a bit some magic. But how do you think they've got there? They've beaten Juventus. They've beaten Bayern Munich. They beat Munich to get in this position. That's no me feet, man. Bayern aren't at their best system. It ain't the greatest Bayern team I've seen. I, I don't think uh, Julian Nagelsmann, everyone's bigging him up. And uh, I know the German press have been giving him a lot of stick over his formations and this and that. And I don't think the buying hierarchy are happy with Nagelsmann. He may wrap up the league, 11th in a row, whatever it is, 10th in a row. But, I, you know, at the end of the day, Bayern want to win the Champions League, just like any other top club in Europe with their traditions. And if they're not even at least making the semi-finals, it's a it's seen as a major failure in Germany and at, and at Bayern. You know, you got Oliver Kahn there, legendary goalkeeper, who's heavily involved in recruitment and the club's you know PR really. And there's some other top dogs behind the scene. Of course, their ambassador De Kaiser. Franz Beckenbauer, legend. Only one of two players in my time to have won the World Cup as a player, one as a manager. Who's the other one? Beckenbauer and... That's right, the French manager. Didier Deschamps. Joined that illustrious list. So I see... I'm going for a... A Villarreal spirited tool draw. But in realistic, I wouldn't be surprised if Liverpool come away with a free 3 0 or 3 1 victory. But I think I think Villarreal will score. But meaningless. Liverpool go to Paris. That's my verdict. And Liverpool have laid down the blueprint to every top six side like Arsenal. Yes, I'll take a learn from Pep and blah, blah, blah. But he must look at Liverpool as a blueprint because we don't, we aren't Manchester City. We can't go and splash 100 million on him and him and him. We can't give 500 grand a week to Erling Haaland. And, well, we could, but then everyone else would start knocking the door saying, ah, well, Erling's on 500 large a week. Uh, can I have uh, 400 large a week? Uh, you know. Do you know what? It'd be worth it. I- I'd pay it. If it meant us winning Premier Leagues, challenging and every year for Premier Leagues, winning as well with your Premier League. And of course, winning. Big ears itself. The one that's eluded Arsenal. The Champions League. I have a gut feeling. I trust my gut. I always go with my gut. Not that. Go with your gut. Always go with your first thought on feeling. I think Arsenal will win the Champions League in the next three to five years. I just have a feeling something's going to happen. It's either going to be under Arteta, which people will laugh at, or he will lay the foundations for a, a world class manager to come in and get us that success. Right, I'll leave it at that. Liverpool to go through to Paris.